My name is Scott Bowers, goalkeeper coach at here at the IMG Soccer Academy. Today we're going to do a five-part series on the foundations of goalkeeping. We're going to cover body shape, handling, footwork, diving, pressure training, and last crossing. Today to help us out is Sunil Borish, first division player at Club Village, and also Zach Boggs with the New England Revolution. In video one, we're going to talk about shot preparation, body shape, how your body is shaped before the ball is traveling. The first thing, feet shoulder width apart, hips back, knees bent. This prevents him from having to go up to go back down, so he starts with his hips back. A lot of goalkeepers make the mistake of being on their toes, not the balls of their feet. Knees bent, on the balls of your, your feet, not your toes. The reason why you want to be on the balls of your feet, because it's a bigger surface, therefore they would stay more balanced. On your toes, they will be off balance, therefore they could fall forwards or they may fall backwards. Let's take a look at body shape and how important it is at game speed. Now that we've talked about body shape and shot preparation, let's talk about footwork. Covering a small space and goal, we would use shuffling. So his knees will still be slightly bent, feet will stay underneath his shoulders so that he stays balanced. He will be on the balls of his feet and as he's shuffling to his right or his left, he would not be banging his feet. Notice how it's nice and light on his toes, on the balls of his feet, feet stay underneath his shoulders, and his body is steady. Good. The second area we're going to talk about in footwork is the crossover, coming, covering a bigger space. All right, the crossover is used when the ball is played out wide or that the shuffling will not get you there in time. Sunil is going to show us what it looks like moving right or left. Sunil moving to his right, crosses over with his left foot in front of his right foot, feet staying somewhat underneath his shoulder so he can stay balanced, moving to the left. Right foot goes in front of left foot, feet facing the shot. Let's take a look at this at game speed. That concludes video one. Now we're gonna move on to video number two, which is handling, giving you the best opportunity to hold on the ball in any given situation.